So, Mark, theology of love, love in the Bible. I know about the New Testament. There is love everywhere in the, in the New Testament. I mean, is right? God is love, according to John. Right. Paul says love is greater than faith, than hope. Love is in the air in the New Testament. The Old Testament, tell me, what's love got to do with it? <laughs> that's, that's a nice uh, Dorothy Dixon. <laughs> um, so, in the Old Testament... The key, uh, key words for the relationship between God and Israel, of course, turn on different kinds of love. So there's more than one kind of love. Oh. And uh, when we start to ask questions about the relevance of the Hebrew Bible traditions for reinterpretation in the New Testament or for us today, all sorts of interesting texts arise, like what we make of the Song of Songs and whether it interacts, say, with the Garden of Eden, mm -hmm. the relationship between Adam and Eve there Adam and what and that says about the human condition. Uh, there's all sorts of layers that are going to resonate with your testament. Yeah, we we have different words, different words for love too. Right. I'm not sure if they all line up. Do they line up neatly? Probably not exactly. Okay. But, but uh, you know the famous ones, the loving God with all your heart and soul. And what is it? What happens in the New Testament? So there's various little nuances like yeah, that, no doubt mind, weakness, strength. Like, yeah. Exactly. Tricky. Yes. And loving your neighbour as yourself or loving a stranger. These are all things even in the book of Leviticus. Um, so we've got lots to talk about. Come and join us.